Hi gang! I would previously demonstrated generating power using atmospheric electricity. A hexacopter was used to lift one end of a wire high up into the air. Meanwhile the other end of the wire was connected to a corona motor near the ground. Electricity then flowed through the wire and corona motor, making a turn. In this video I am going to explain how it works. Much of the following explanation is adapted from Nobel Prize winning physicist Richard Feynman's lecture on physics, a section called Electricity in the Atmosphere. For every meter you go up in the air, the voltage increases by around 100 volts, or we could say around 100 volts per yard. We can draw these voltage increases using what are called equipotential lines. Notice that the ground is negative and the sky is positive with respect to each other. According to Feynman, this extends upward to 50 kilometers, or 31 miles where the air is very conductive. This is the case in fair weather. In stormy weather, like a thunderstorm, things are quite different, and I won't talk about that here. But if this voltage exists between your head and the ground, why don't you get a shock? The reason is that your body is a good enough electrical conductor that standing on the ground, you are basically a part of the ground. The equipotential lines would look like this. There is still effectively zero volts between the top of your head and ground. Similar effects happen with trees, buildings, and so on. What about the electric current? A downward electrical current exists and consists of positive ions. Molecules are clumps of matter that have a positive charge. These ions are moving slowly toward the ground. The current density from these ions is very small, around 10 micro micro amps or 10 pico amps, crossing each square meter or yard every second. So in any small area, there is not a lot of power. And that is the explanation about atmospheric electricity adapted from Feynman's lectures. To take advantage of this atmospheric electricity, we electrically connect one end of a wire to the ground and lift the other end up into the air. In our case we got good results at around 120 meters or 390 feet up. At 100 volts per meter or 100 volts per yard, that is 12,000 volts between that height and the ground. But just as with you standing on the ground, the wire is an electrical conductor and so is also at ground potential. Looking at the equipotential lines around the wire, that voltage of 12,000 volts exists between some distance away from the wire and the wire.